And standing by with Andre Knott is Zarius Williams. Dre? Zarius, first of all, congratulations on becoming a state champion. How good does that feel? Uh, you know, it's a, it's a surreal feeling right now. It's also surreal. It's, it's amazing. With the last 48 hours, just take us through this. Obviously, you always want to be a state champion. Last night's game is up and down. You're trailing at the half. Just put into emotions, just the feelings and words of what, what you've gone through the last two days. Um, you know, there's really, there's really no word that can describe it. I mean, other than, than special. I mean, it, this, is, this is amazing. It's like, it's what, it's what everybody dreams of. You know, when you look at the matchup tonight, you had to go against the big guy from Westerville. How difficult of a matchup was that, or did you look forward to a matchup like that? Oh, it, it, I look forward to it, but it was, I knew it was going to be a tough matchup. You know, his, he has a big body. It's hard to get around. So, yeah, so, so once you get behind him, you know, I'm trying to just wall up. You know, he got, he got a couple of fouls on me, but I'm just walling up and just, just trying to stop it the best I can. I'm sure you'll have a couple of bruises, but they're going to be well worth it. Congratulations on becoming a champ. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Right. And, Coach, uh, we'll get Coach Trice here shortly. Coach Trice, congratulations. I think every guard always knows you got to take care of the big guy first and foremost. No, absolutely, absolutely. Did you know the play in the zone would help you guys as much as it helped you against Westerville? Well, I, I, there was something we had thought about. We, we got to see some film on them. Uh, some of my assistant coaches did a great job of game planning. We knew that they liked to get out in transition. Uh, we decided we were going to jam their rebounders so they couldn't get the quick, long outlets. And we sent two guards back, which we typically don't do because we're a good offensive rebounding team. But we felt like with Trey Landers, Zarius Williams, Ahmad Wagner, that we could get to some of those offensive boards and we could still get back in transition and not give up very many of those buckets. And we did a great job, and that was the difference. You know, I, in talking to some of your guys last night's game, they said help for today. I don't know if as a coach, do you feel the same way about that? Well, I mean, you know, when you get into a grind like that and you got to dig deep, you know, I told them last night was the hard part. Today, all we got to do is come out and play. You know, and, and they did that. I thought we came out and we played loose. We got off to a great start. thought we did a good job defensively and a good job on the boards, and that was going to be the difference, and it was. I asked your son about being a quarterback of a state championship runner-up team and how much that helped him. How difficult is it to coach your son, especially in emotional moments when you get this deep into a season? It's not difficult at all with Dimitri. Um, he's so mentally tough, and he's such a joy to be around as a person, and he's the, one of the most coachable people that you could ever be around. Um, I, I thought that he stepped up big. Not a lot of kids could struggle at the end of the ball game like he did a little bit last night and come back and tell his team that I got you. And that's what he said to his team, and, and he came out and he proved it. He got, off, got us off to a great start, and then he finished the game as well. All right, here's a million-dollar question. Who's driving first on the way to Syracuse? Uh, I got a lot of energy, so it'll probably be me uh, driving, but uh, we're looking forward to that trip. Um, you know, I'm so excited for Travis. He's been through so much, um, but he's had an unbelievable uh, year this year. It's been a little bit up and down, but the way he's playing right now is the Travis Trice that I know, and he's trying to take that team to a Final Four, and we want to be there to support him. But they just support you as well. You're now a coach that's a state champion. How good is that now? It's unbelievable. It really is. But it's not about me. I'm, I'm so grateful to Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior. Um, I'm just a praying man and a Christian man and trying to keep these guys in some strong, positive values. My goal is to, to be a mentor to these guys and teach them the right way to be a young man. I told them, let's do the right things and let's put God first and let's do those things correctly. The winning part will happen. These guys worked so hard in the offseason. They worked on their game and every one of them have gotten better as the season has gone on and it's from that hard work to paying off. Coach, you did a wonderful job. Congratulations. Keep that energy because I think you're going to need it in that I'm trip. I'm need it eight hours, eight hours from now, but I'll get, I'll get to sleep for a couple hours and I'll have some energy for Michigan State. We'll, be well, most of us will be pulling for you back Come here. On, <laughs> Take care, Coach. Congratulations. Appreciate it. Thank you. No problem. What a weekend. We wrap up here in Columbus, guys, with that victory for Huber Heights. Back to you, Mike.